Hmm. Oh, is that Sedith? Wow, he looks really deep in thought. I wonder what he's writing. A secret diary, maybe? That phrase doesn't quite work, does it? Let's see about an alternative. Hmm, too uncertain for a diary. Maybe it's a letter. Or a poem. No, that's bound to introduce misunderstanding. Precision is the key. It must be really important if he's putting that much thought into every word. But I mustn't overcomplicate things either. Parting words ought to be precise. Parting? It's a farewell letter? <gasps> is he writing his resignation? Said it can be a little scary sometimes, but I hope he doesn't leave. It'd be sad to see him go. He shouldn't make such rash decisions. If he's unhappy about something, he should tell someone. Come now. Do you really think I would resign? <gasps> you... you heard all that? If you don't wish to be heard talking to yourself, then you should not speak so loudly. I'm sorry to hear that you find me intimidating. Wait, Bernadetta! Ugh. Typical behavior for the girl. Most concerning. Can she really go through life this way? Um, excuse me. Yes? What is it? I'm really sorry about what I said. I shouldn't have called you scary, even if, um, you are. <laughs> I said it again! I'm sorry! It is nothing I haven't heard before. I am well aware of my austere nature, and I am accustomed to the commentary it brings. I do confess, however, that I was slightly hurt to see you flee from me in such abject terror. Uh, don't be sad. I'll never do it again, I promise. But, um, I've been wondering, were you really writing a farewell letter? Ah, that. No, actually. I was composing a fable centered around Saint Indec. I didn't know you wrote fables. But what's it about? Saint Indec, one of the four saints. He was an extraordinarily shy person. It is said that he spent most of his life in solitude, unable to open his heart to anyone. I like him already. He was, after all, a man who hid himself away at the bottom of a lake. Um, what's that about a lake? Hmm? Nothing. Now, something else to know about Saint Indec is that he had incredible skill with his hands. And that skill made him beloved by the people because he constantly applied it to their benefit. The moral of the story is that shortcomings can be made up for with talent and kindness. I like it, but I don't have any talents like that. I can't even imagine being that helpful to people. Saint Indec must have been really gifted. Don't be so quick to dismiss your abilities. You and he are actually alike in more ways than one. You possess Index Crest, after all, do you not? Um, yes, I do. You really think we're alike? Now I want to know all about him. Do you think I could read your fable when it's done? Absolutely. Index... example is something that we can all learn from. Thanks so much! I'm excited to see it! Here's your book of fables you let me set it. It was so interesting to learn all about St. Indec that I read it cover to cover in one sitting. Impressive. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hmm. What's this sticking out between the pages? Is this an illustration? <gasps> must have stuck it in there and forgotten. Just, um, give it back, please. Are you certain this was accidental? It quite fits the descriptions in this chapter. Ah, I see. You included an illustration where you thought the visual would be helpful. No, 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 not at all. I was just fooling around. I have an overactive imagination, and I forgot to take it out before I gave you the book back. It really is a lovely drawing, you know. Now that I've seen it, the book would feel incomplete without it. But who is this man next to Saint Indec? 
I can't help but notice he bears a resemblance to me. Oh, um, that same keyhole. The book describes him as one of Sing Index's closest friends. I got the feeling he was a very serious man, but also really kind. You know, like you. So that probably explains the, um, resemblance. I have to say, I never would have expected to be a reference model for Saint Keyhole. What a curious ambivalence. <laughs> what about furious violence? Uh, no, what I meant to say is that I am both flattered and a little embarrassed to be portrayed in this way. Perhaps it is because, in my study of him, I feel like I've also become a friend to Saint Indec. Records show that Saint Indec and Saint Keyhole worked together to achieve great things. If possible, I would like it if the two of us could similarly combine our efforts. What? How do we figure into this? We each bear their respective crests, do we not? One might also say that just as I am this book's author, you are now its illustrator. So why don't you do some more illustrations? And color them as well. We'll add them to the book. You really want me to? I don't know if I'm good enough for something like that. Ah, Bernadetta, have you finished your illustrations? Yes, I have. Finally. This is the first time I've ever made anything for a real-life book. I was up all night finishing these. Bernie's all burned out now. I guess if they're no good, we'll just have to burn them all, eh? <laughs> Let's leave the topic of burning aside for now, shall we? Show me what you've done. So, um, what do you think? This is excellent work. The color, especially. It truly brings your art to life. I will see that the new edition of our book is added to the Garrigmach collection. Really? Oh, that's such a relief. It was a tough job, but yeah. There's nothing Bernie can't handle. You certainly do have some impressive mood swings. Actually, there is one thing I'd like to discuss. Oh no, what did I get wrong? Relax, I simply wanted to ask you about this last image. This is you here, is it not? Um, yes, is that wrong? What's wrong with it? Nothing at all, I'm only curious. Does that make me the person standing beside you? Oh, um, no, that same keyhole. Is that so? Then I must ask, what relationship are you suggesting you have with him? Well, I got the impression that the story of Saint Indec was told from Saint Keyhole's point of view. So I just imagined that I asked Saint Keyhole about it. And, um, that's where the picture came from. I guess I overdid it, huh? That's weird, isn't it? It's really weird. We can scrap it. Let's just get rid of it. Ah, so that's why. <laughs> that's amusing. Um, it is? Very much. And I think this is a very fitting end to the book, actually. St. Keyhole and Bernadetta. They would have made quite an interesting pair, I think. In fact, if the two of you had lived in the same time, I am certain you would share a deep bond. What? St. Keyhole and me? N no way. I've already got my hands full just trying to be friends with you. But I've managed that at least, right? Haven't I? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>